Jim's father had committed suicide um, in 1998. Um, his mother had died of cancer, and I got that wrong the other night. I'm sorry for that. Um, uh, uh, several years before, um, the date that uh, Jim's father disappeared prior to his uh, substance uh, or prior to his suicide was actually the date that J uh, Jim's house was lit on fire. That's the anniversary mm -hmm. date. Um, the date of his father's suicide is tomorrow. So at this right, point, so that, that um, clearly, that clearly could point to, to some kind of motive uh, and some kind of psychological trauma. Well, it's bone chilling uh, information when I heard it that potentially he's had a plan. I'm often in my practice and working with cli clients uh, who have had psychological problems and trauma in their past, um, and they make a suicide pack or plan that they've hidden from other people. It relates very much to anniversaries of the traumatic event. And I think that's very much what we're seeing here is that there might be a possible link between um, the anniversary date of his father's disappearance and eventual suicide um, and the date of the burning of the house, and now hopefully not, um, but possibly a suicide of his own uh, tomorrow. And uh, to have a countdown like that is just bone chilling. It is bone chilling. Uh, you've been camping many times with James DiMaggio. Can he survive pretty easily in that kind of terrain from your experience? Uh, no, and that's one of the things that, you know, has got me more concerned. It's, and, you know, with a small backpack, they're only looking at several days of being in the woods. He obviously didn't prepare for a long period of hiding out. Um, and that would coincide with these dates and times that um, I've been able to discover. Um, so, uh, you know, Laura is just petrified that um, this is going to be the end result that is her, uh, you know, uh, brother might commit suicide. And, um, and, and we're obviously very concerned about uh, Hannah as well. And in terms of, obviously yesterday you were very defensive of, of your friend, and understandably we didn't have so much information. But given what you know now, do you fear that you may have been too optimistic in terms of, believing he may be um, an innocent victim in all this. I, I wouldn't say that I was defensive or um, optimistic. I think that I was trying to be calculated and logical with respect to the information that was available, and I was working to gain the trust of um, Laura and their family um, for the out a positive outcome for Hannah and for Jim. Um, these traumatic events are often uh, the first reaction of people involved family is grief, and within grief you have a process of denial um, until you get to the uh, point of acceptance. And I think over the last couple days, and then is the, uh, the shocking announcement of finding the car, and that it seemed that it was pretty clear that Jim was involved involved, um, Laura was much more forthcoming with information that I'm now able to share um, with right. the audience and, and, and thankfully with the FBI and hopefully they'll be able to use it to bring both of them home safely.